What happened to the only Japanese passenger on the Titanic? Masabumi Hosono was the only Japanese passenger on the RMS Titanic. As a civil servant working for the Japanese Ministry of Transport, he researched Imperial Russia's railway system in 1910. His journey back to Japan then took him to Britain. After staying in London for a time, he went to Southampton, where he boarded the RMS Titanic on April 10, 1912, in second class. During the disaster, as the ship was sinking after hitting an iceberg, passengers began boarding the few lifeboats to evacuate. Hosono was asleep when the crash happened, but awoke when a stewardess knocked on his cabin and told him to put on a life jacket. When he tried to go to the top deck where the lifeboats were, he was blocked by a crewman who assumed he was a third-class passenger. But eventually, he slipped past and reached the top deck. All the while, flares signaling emergency were being shot into the air ceaselessly, and hideous blue flashes and noises were simply terrifying. Somehow, I could in no way dispel the feeling of utter dread and desolation, Hosono wrote. He found a lifeboat when an officer shouted, room for two more, and survived the Titanic disaster. When he returned to Japan, Hosono, instead of being cheered, was disgraced by the U.S. and Japanese press because he did not adhere to the women and children first rule. He was fired from his job and portrayed in the media as a dishonorable coward who pushed other passengers out of the way to reach the lifeboat seats. Some newspapers even wrote stories about Hosono disguising himself as a woman to get on a lifeboat and said that he should commit suicide. He would be ostracized for the rest of his life in Japan in what is known as Murahachibu, something which is still found today where a co-worker who has made a grievous error or shown a lack of loyalty is avoided by his or her peers. Hosono died of natural causes on March 14, 1939, at 68 years old. After his death, his granddaughter found his diary and published it. In it, he said how he did not want to do anything disgraceful as a Japanese which is seen as his redemption, bringing honor back to the Hosono family. Subscribe and click the notification bell for more history videos. Thank you guys for all your support on the Simple History YouTube channel. If you enjoy it, please consider visiting our Patreon page. There, you can show us your support for the channel by donating and make a huge difference in what we're able to create for you. Plus, you can get early access on upcoming videos. So let's keep it growing, and thank you for being part of this amazing community.